name is Ken. I've been here at New Hope for some time now, and it, it is an honor and a privilege to be here this morning because, I mean, we got a beautiful day here. Uh, I was asked to do a testimony, uh, and I see no way around it. I mean, if, I, if, if any of us are asked to do a testimony, we should be ready to do a testimony, okay? Especially during this time and this point in time. Uh, we have a lot of questions going on. We have a lot of uh, uncertainty, but one thing we do have certain, the Lord is with us and he will provide and he will be what we need for him during this time. A few years ago, I started doing, uh, I was asked to do a jail ministry on a uh, different capacity than this church, but it, it got me started. And I, I, I realized when when I did my first jail ministry that I didn't have like everything in an hour's time. I had told the people everything I knew about the Bible. I've been to every verse in the Bible that I knew. I told them everything and it, and it hit me. Uh, this, you know, uh, I'm an older person and I should know more about the Bible than what I do. And uh, so it, that kind of sparked me. And I got to hanging out around John 17 where Jesus prays for us. Uh, and he prays that we are just as important. God loves us just as much as what he loves Jesus. And that really stuck with me for a long time. What I've been doing lately though, is we'll just start in Acts chapter two. And this is the same thing as what is uh, prophesied in Joel 28 and 29, of course. And it shall come to pass in the last days, says God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your young men shall see visions. And your old men shall dream dreams. And my servants and my handmaidens will pour out in those days my spirit. And they shall prophesy. I think we're living in the last days, okay? Uh, and <clears throat> I, I don't dream dreams per se and remember them, but the last two or three weeks, I've had a couple of dreams and I did share them with my community group. Uh, and I feel as though I'm led to share them with everyone now. Uh, the first dream, we were maintaining a wall. It was a brick wall, okay? I woke up, wrote it down uh, the best I could decipher it. And, and keep in mind, I don't dream dreams. I don't remember anything I dream, okay? I just don't do it. Uh, what I came up with was maintain spiritual wellness like you would a brick wall of protection around your heart, okay? And I just remember that pointy trial we was, uh, filling in the little holes, the gaps that, and, and that brings me back to uh, Ephesians 6, the fire arrows of Satan. I keep the shield of faith up, right? Uh, the second dream was roughly one le week later, okay? It had to do, and it was a little more chilling. Uh, it had to do with time, okay? I won't go into it completely and totally, but it has to do with, we need to guard our time. Uh, it is time to guard our time. That led me to Ephesians 5, 15 through 17. And actually it just led me there this morning, okay? Uh, walk circumspectly, not as fools. I'm paraphrasing just parts of the verses. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Be not unwise, but understand the will of the Lord. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. And I, brethren, when I came to you, I came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you save Jesus Christ and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness, that's me. I was with you in fear, that's me. And in much trembling, that is me. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in the demonstration of the spirit and of power, okay? And I think that's what it needs to come down to. We need to be desiring the gifts of God 
demonstrating them and no one can dispute it at that point, okay? That your faith should not stand in wisdom of men, but in the power of God. I give you my two words I got from God. Maintain your spiritual wellness, guard your time. I hope I shared something with somebody that that can help you. Uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll be praying for all of you. Thank you.